That's who I made my wife. So I die alone, I told that bitch she probably right. But then that's for sure, got a stranger to this life. Got a safe that's full of pregnant and a shoulder full of strikes. Ah! Don't know a nigga like myself. I say self-made. What y'all know about that? Yeah. What y'all know about it? What y'all know about it? <laughs> What y'all know about it, man? Y'all about y'all ready for the jokes, man? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Is y'all ready, man? Ha ah, ah. <laughs> ha! Oh man, man, the world crazy, man. Man, I did, man, look, man. I got a homegirl, man. She said houses, right? <laughs> and I, I, I was wondering to, I was pondering to myself. I said, hold up. So you sell houses, but you live in. A trailer park? Your car? <laughs> this... <laughs> I'm like, hold up, man. Hold up one minute. Just hold up one minute, man. How you selling houses and you don't got a house? I'm trying to understand this, ladies and gentlemen. You don't got a house, but you selling houses? Now, for me to come to you and try to get a house from you, I could wonder that you don't got the best offers or something is not right. <laughs> You don't got a house, but you're selling houses. Come on, man. What the fuck is going on in the world, man? You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, man. I just seen it all, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trying to judge me, man. Yes, I did date a stud before, man. I was with a stud one time. I was hitting up in the back and all this type of thing, man. Everybody want to judge me. Why you was messing with a stud? You know the stud looked like this. The stud looked like that. But at the end of the day, the stud got a pussy. And I had to beat it up. Huh? I had to beat it up, you know? I was in that joint making a uh, boy. You know what I'm saying? She, she, look, look. She tried to act all tough with me and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? She came over one day. You know, me smoking a little joint, smoking this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I was kind of horny that day. <laughs> I need some. And I said, you know what? You know what, sis? You really look good over there, girl. You look real good over there, man. And I was just infatuated with it at that moment, you know? You know what I'm saying? I grabbed her up. I said, hold up. And she kind of strong. So hold up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, deep voice and all that, man. You know what I'm saying? But when we got into the emotion, she became a whole woman. She was moaning and all of that type of thing. I was enjoying myself, you know? Had to get it out. Oh, 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, man, that's crazy, man. I had me a stud, man. What's wrong with it? It was a woman, though. You know? You know what I'm saying? She loved every woman that I gave her, every stroke, every penetration. Penetration on them, you know? <laughs> oh, man, I remember I'm messing with this old, ch old head chick, about 65 years old, man. Man, 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 I remember going over there, man. She told me to come up to the cookout. I said, all right. She, she was a light-skinned older lady, you know what I'm saying? Her son was about my age, you know what I'm saying? I come over there, he was kind of slow and tired or something like that. You know what I'm saying? He came over there. Tongue hanging all out his mouth, his own mouth, that's what I'm doing, and all that type of thing. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I was like, man, I got to do what I got to do out here in these streets, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Your mama got a fat ass. <laughs> I got a waga waga. You know what I'm saying? We was over there to cook y'all jamming. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm the youngest nigga in that motherfucker. <laughs> Everybody oldest nigga you know, over there motherfucker two-stepping. You know what I mean? To the R. Kelly jump. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Late night got real crazy though. You know what I'm saying? That child, you know I ain't like one of them young girls. You know what I'm saying? You know I ain't like one of them young girls. You know what I'm I can't be doing all this bending all over and this type of thing. I can't be doing all of that. I'm sitting on the bed. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, okay. Man, that you... Pfft. That 65 year old lady rock my world. I ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I was stuck to the mattress. I was like, oh my gracious. I said, I've never felt this before in my life. 
these young girls need to get training from you. You are the best at this. Oh my God, I was in love like a mother. I was calling her every five minutes. I said, baby, where you at right now? I need you. <laughs> I was addicted like cocaine, you know? You know what I'm saying? I was in love like a motherfucker, man. She wiped my world, 65 year old, and that pussy was good. It was drenched like water, you know what I mean? <laughs> had the whole heavy soak, cream pie, and all of that, you know? It was good, you know? You know what I'm saying? I said the worst type of female to mess with is that dry, pussy ass female. I went one time with hand sex with this young girl, man. Pussy was dry than a motherfucker. Oh, she, she on top, grinding on me. I'm like, oh, oh. I'm like, my dick about to bleed. My shit about to bleed. She's like, you gotta drink this. Yeah, like, she was getting it to it. I'm like, oh, this pussy is blind. This is like sandpaper. It's like Brillo pads. My skin is peeling off, y'all. Oh, oh. Every time she jumped on me, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> man, that's the worst type of pussy to ever get, man. That dry stuff, man. I'm for real, if we're really real on that. You know what I mean? It's crazy, man. <laughs> I see, I just see it all, man. I just see the fuck it all, man. Niggas, this is the thing I ain't never understand about a nigga, man. How can you make your girl a whore and then sleep with the same girl? You not scared to catch no shit? You know what I'm saying? I had one friend, he was told, he told this old lady, said, go ahead and suck child dick and get that 12 hours for me. <laughs> Girl, go suck that boy ducky dick and get that 12 hours for me. I said, God damn, 12 hours for the head job? I said, man, I don't do that to that girl, man. Hold up, hold up. Anybody look. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to get mad, man. I ain't lying, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, I was the worst drug dealer in the world, man. When I used to do that back in the days, man, man, I had all type of fiend joints coming in the house, man. I was getting blow jobs, all type of shit, man. God damn. I said, man, that's too much free pussy out here for this little bit of cart rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dog. Life is real, man. Life is really real, man. I just, I never understood the concept of a motherfucker pretending to be something he ain't. You know what I'm saying? All this pretend ass shit niggas doing out here. You know what I'm saying? Nigga walking around with uh, fake 14 karat gold chains on his neck. Nigga whole neck bumped up like a motherfucker. That nigga in the club, that nigga got a whole baby in the back of his neck. I'm like, oh, what the fuck is that, nigga? What is that? What is that on your neck, man? Stop wearing that fake ass jewelry, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that shit be crazy. How y'all wearing all that fake ass shit? You know? I seen a bitch whole ears get. Got them big ass puff in the back of this shit. You don't see where fake jewelry all the goddamn time. Y'all better take that fake, that fake ass shit off your goddamn ears, man. For real, man. Shit be crazy, man. Shit be really crazy, man. <laughs> I don't understand it no more, man. Everybody trying to fake the funk out this motherfucker, man. Relationships ain't shit. Family ain't shit nowadays. You know what I'm saying? You be happy just to find a faithful motherfucker out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I went one time with dating this bitch, man, one of my exes, man, and she hit me with that movie theater shit. She said, she said, Charlie, it wasn't you, it was me. It's, it's nothing wrong with you, man. You all right? <laughs> oh, my God, are you dumping me? She's like, it's not you, Charlie, it's me. It's something with me. I said, bitch, you got another nigga. She said, no, I don't. I don't have another nigga. I don't have one at all. I'm like, what? You don't got no no nigga? I said, what's wrong? My dick too small? What, I'm too fat? I don't got no money? What was it? Why you fucking up on me? I was an emotional nigga back in the day. I'm like, no, don't do this. Ah! I want me dead. I'm going over the road. I was going crazy. I'm like, oh, this is my bitch. My bitch leaving me. Somebody call that one, one, please. <laughs> Old time, that bitch sleeping with a hundred different niggas, man. <laughs> hundred different niggas. Cable guy, the Walmart guy, the milk guy. Every nigga that came to her house, she was sleeping with. <laughs> God, damn, I said, God damn, I wonder why your baby daddy didn't know who the father was. That nigga tried to figure out the, the, the mystery behind this shit. I, I didn't know the bitch was a whore like that. Now, I guess when I fell in the pussy. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. I said, oh, shit. This bitch can put a whole rent in her pussy, <laughs> whole salt crystals in her pussy, whole tables in her pussy. Oh my gracious. But I thought, I thought it was just a regular thing, you know? I thought that was just regular, man. She didn't have the tight quick clamp on her pussy, you know? She was around here getting that pussy up to everybody in there. The white, the nigga at the white hit, the nigga with a Walmart shirt hit that motherfucker. Everybody. I said, God damn, girl, how many niggas is you fucking? 
You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, damn. Every time I see the bitch, she with another nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she's talking about she getting mad and all that type of shit. <laughs> she probably cheating right there. <laughs> Slut my glad bitch. I know you. You's a whore. You been a whore your whole fucking life. You not about to change the day. What Dr. Dre said, you can't turn a whore into a house. Why, nigga? That bitch is a whore. She's a normal certified whore, man. You know what I mean? Like, every time niggas get off the ship, they say they come get them a dip in that motherfucker, man. And I was like, damn, that shit was crazy. Man, I was watching some shit the other day, man, about a nigga was on a tugboat or some shit, and the shit sunk at the bottom of the sea. The nigga lasted two days underwater at the bottom of the sea. I would have been pissing shit and everything on my goddamn self. I said, that nigga came out. That nigga, they said, that nigga had nightmares and everything. He said, he ain't never going in the water. Nigga, he got me scared to go in the water right now. Ten niggas was, ten battles was under the with that nigga. I said, God damn, that's some scary shit. You can't even see what's in the dock, nigga. You got fish and shots, all type of shit down there. <laughs> I'm like, you know what I'm saying? You know what like the Titanic, motherfucker. Oh, hell no. I ain't going down like that, huh? That nigga said he had to be down there two days in a fucking out with ten dead bodies floating around with fishes. Oh, hell no. Hell to the fuck no. Let me not get no turbo job. <laughs> Yo, hell no, that shit sounded scary as a motherfucker. I'm like, damn, Jesus was, was absolutely with him, man. When it was John in the well, what was that story? You know what I'm saying? Shit be crazy, man. I don't understand it, man. You feel me? I don't want girl talking to me, man. She talking crazy as a motherfucker, man. I never understand a bitch that try to get somebody advice and got a nigga that's cheating on her. Like, I don't get that. I be confused as a motherfucker. Yo nigga ain't never was faithful. So what advice can you possibly give a nigga? Like, <laughs> you give your homegirl the same advice you got, and that bitch getting cheated on too. I'm like, come to be in this house, and I'll give you the best motherfucker advice. Just suck the nigga dick, because at the end of the day, the nigga going to another bitch in anyway. <laughs> Huh? He is. He going to do another bitch. He going to get tired of smelling the same aromas and all that shit. He don't want the same pussy. <laughs> you know what else niggas say? And ain't like, like new puss. That's what they, they what niggas say, you know what I mean? When your ass ain't around, you know what they saying? It ain't nothing like some new puss. You know what I mean? That's what the niggas saying when you ain't around. I got to tell you, sis, you out here uh, preaching like uh, 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 rather sliding all this shit, man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep it up with you, man. I got to be real funky with you, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. Like I said, man, I don't be understanding this shit, man. I be trying to figure it out, man. You know what I mean? Motherfucker be dumb than a motherfucker, man. Like, I just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, man. I just, man. One thing about life, man. You got to enjoy each and every moment as you can, man. Because motherfuckers is crazy out this bitch, man. Niggas jumping off roofies and shit. Hanging themselves, overdosing and some more shit, man. That's why I tell niggas to stop doing drugs, man. Niggas doing drugs, man. Like, I seen niggas that I went to school with, man. Can you imagine as a parent raising some kids and they end up doing crack, smoking a rock? I'm like, God damn, I did 12 years with you in school, nigga. You 18, 19 years old. I raised you, nigga. And you hitting that crack rock. Like, for real? This nigga gotta rock this bitch. You know I, mean? I seen one nigga, man. This nigga, man. I went to school with this nigga, man. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this nigga. I'm like, come on, bro. Nigga say, man, I'll suck your dick and all this type of shit. Like, what, what, what? You gonna suck niggas dick, man? What is going on? You want that crack rock? This motherfucking bag, nigga. I'm like, huh? <laughs> this nigga out here break dancing. I said, man, this nigga right here, I knew this nigga went to school with me. This nigga break dancing and everything. I think that man turned to a whole homosexual over crack rock. I said, huh? What the fuck is going on, man, with the world, man? I can't imagine my kids coming to me telling me something, you know what I mean, trying to act like everything good and they out here smoking that crap. You know what I mean? Come on, now. I raised you all these years and you hitting the glass pipe. I feel sorry for everybody that I knew like that, that I went to school with, man. Now they on drugs, crack the fuck out. I'm like, damn, what the world is coming to when a nigga got to hit the glass dick? You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? That ain't okay. That's not no cool shit, nigga. Like, man, that shit stink. Have you ever smelled somebody burning some uh, motherfucking crack, man? That shit's got a fucked up odor to it. It made me throw up every time I smell it. Oh, oh, it stink. That shit stink when you light it up. It smell. It stink it. Oh, my God. I just be, I be feeling bad, man. I'm like, damn, that nigga was the best basketball player in the world. 
You know what I mean? I seen one, man, the girl went to school with on crap rock. I'm like, damn, she run around with book bags on, dirty drawers, dirty socks. I said, God damn, she was a dime piece when she went to school, man. She was all that in a peanut butter jelly sandwich. You know what I mean? God damn, she fucked up. I'm like, she really fucked up. Huh? I said, oh, you know I got a little crap, right? You trying to suck some little dick? <laughs> you know I ain't shit. <laughs> you want that crap, right? I got some crap, right? For you, right here. You did. <laughs> come on. Hey, come here. You know what? Give me five dollars, and I'm gonna let you suck it all, and I'm gonna give you a little crab rock right here. Let me get you go. <laughs> hey, shit, man. I'm telling you that, man. Hey, shit, man. I want my mom. I want my goddamn brother, man. My brother, man. This nigga, man. He's so good to me, man. One day, man. Man, I'm chilling in the trap. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, bro, I said, go in the room, man. I'm going in the room. What's what kind of shit you on, nigga? Going in the room? What's going on, man? I'm going in the room, bitch. Butt ass nigga. I'm like, oh shit. So what you what you trying to do? What you know what I'm trying to do? This shit ain't even gotta say nothing but a word. I'm in that mother. What's up? What's up? Hold on, I gotta find me a condom in this motherfucker, man. Oh, I gotta get you my hold up. Hold up a minute. That's it. That nigga tried to spoil me that day. That nigga had a whole bitch in here, butt nigga. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I had to get my ass, man. I had to get my shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. You can judge me. You know what I'm saying? Had this one old bitch, man. Man, I had another old bitch. She was old. I said, yeah. I see the bitch, man. She know what? Eight years old, seven years old. That bitch got a young battery with a fat ass. And she wanted just a little bit of rock. I said, hold up. I said, hold up, baby girl. I said, oh, what's really wrong? You okay? I said, come on over here. Let me talk to you. I brought her in the house, man. The ass was so goddamn fat. I said, put this rubber on. What's going on? Uh, I said, come here. Uh, uh. Boy, the pussy was so goddamn. How could an old lady have some good ass? 80 years old. This pussy was good as hell. And it was clapping on my shit. I was like, oh, that's some good ass pussy, and you smoking this shit. Why you doing it to yourself? But girl, I'm gonna enjoy this shit. It was good. It was amazing. Uh, I had to get, I had to get big that so man. I didn't want the bitch to leave. I said, hold up, I'm about to go back some Popeyes real quick. <laughs> real shit, man. <clears throat> that was the worst drug done in the world, man. Let's go into the story, man. I gave a lot of shit away. <laughs> Nigga, come around here, man. Hey, Charlie, got my money yet? Got my money yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. I'm about to, um, come back out next week, man. <laughs> come back out next week, bro. I got you. <laughs> about next week, okay? <laughs> Nigga, they fucked up the whole pack chicken. <laughs> Nigga, ain't shit, bro. I done fucked the whole pack of chicken on these little hoes and shit. <laughs> Nigga said, Charlie, you better have my money when I come back around this motherfucker. Nigga, I got you, nigga. <laughs> Nigga go to another whole no no hood and shit. Do the same shit all over again, nigga. I be out burning some goddamn way doing that shit. <laughs> I be nigga be the whole no hood. Nigga, I love pot plate, nigga. <laughs> they had to go to Burton. <laughs> Real shit, man. Shit be crazy, man. I run man. <laughs> oh man, shit is terrible, man. Man, I, I had this bad ass homegirl, man, named Keisha, man. And this bitch, man, I loved her like a motherfucker, man. Every time I see this bitch, I liked her, everything about her, man. Every little thing, man. It was so cute about her, man. She had this little small body fat ass. I seen her, man. She thick as shit now, man. I'm like, God damn. I said, man, we supposed to get married 10 years ago. Why the fuck you kept fucking with me, man? Talking about if I lose weight and all this type of funny shit you used to say to me. You know what I'm saying? I went one time, and I was chilling with the bitch, man. Ain't nobody around. She told me, Charlie, let me suck your dick. I said, what? You want to suck my dick? Hell yeah. I took my pants. I ripped my pants off like the Credible Hawk. I said, come on, girl. Get a girl suck the skin off my shit. I said, damn. I said, oh. oh, my God. I said, Keisha, I love you so much. I love you. So but she was a grimy bitch. She would suck your dick and fuck you and then say she never touched you. She was one of them type of bitches. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She was all type of bitches, man. You know what I'm saying? Keisha was a beautiful motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? Pussy was good as shit. You know what I'm saying? She had, man, her pussy was so goddamn good, man. Give you fairy tales in your dream, nigga. You be floating on clouds, nigga. Sipping on some lean and some more shit. Pussy was amazing, nigga. For real. You know what I'm 
I mean? For real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Man, I love me some Keisha, boy. Back in the day, boy, keep man, you could, Keisha, like, oh, go to the store, go get me some uh, Black of Miles, or, a light on some shit. Like, I'm like, oh, Keisha, uh, uh, come drive with me real quick. <laughs> So ride with me real quick. We're gonna go to the store, y'all. We be right back. <laughs> y'all doing that shit, man. We be right back. We want right to the store. No, 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 no. What you want for the store? We're gonna bring it back to you. Okay? Don't come with us. We're gonna bring that shit right back to you. I'll be in the back. Cut. <laughs> we, we get that, yo. <laughs> oh, man. You know how that shit go, man. You know what I'm saying? You got a young jump, you know, back in the days and shit like that. Yeah, hey, hey, everybody, we're good to go. We'll be right back. Y'all want some liquor, too? I mean, take it to the cut, <laughs> to the hotel and shit. Come back with a cold case of liquor. Everybody looking tired in the face. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, we was chilling, bro. We ain't that too much going on. <laughs> you done told that ass up in there that the bitch just fell out of the car. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Shit be crazy, man. I love all of y'all out there, man. I appreciate y'all joining in to your boy, man. Being there, Charlie. Comedy time, baby. But we about to be. It's out. It's out. It's out. Hey. And let me put it back on. I designed myself. County jail fade. You can put my style yourself. Spot rags all around. I'm getting high myself. Yeah. Damn right. I like the life I'm built. West Side 60. Shit, I might got killed. That is so tall, I think I might got skill. Legendary brother, like Mike, like Will. 96 and Paul and Thug, like Thor Will. Up against the wall, trouble as I feel. Like a motherfucking boss, ask me how I feel. That's the street nigga touching them first meal. All my life, running all my life. Sacrifice, hustle paid the price. One slice, got to roll the dice, that's why. All my life, I've been grinding all my life, bro. All my life, been grinding all my life, bro. Sacrifice, hustle pay the price. Hey, One slice, hey, hey. got to roll the dice, that's why. All my life, I've been grinding all my life, bro. I got everything I said I was gonna get on my kid.